Mark and Vanessa, welcome to India today. I absolutely had a great time watching Tiger. You know, when I grew up, I watched this documentary called Beautiful People. I don't know if you've heard of it. It was a classic. It came out in the 1970s. I want to ask you, do you have any memories of watching any early films to do with animals or wildlife while you were growing up? Absolutely, Tushar. It's the reason why we got into this job in the first place. Watching, for us, I think it was David Attenborough's Life on Earth. And also there was something like Jacques Cousteau's Underwater World, which was so old. I, I think the first episodes were in black and white. So imagine coral reefs in a black and black and white. <laughs> but anyway, I was transfixed and so was Vanessa. And um, that and particularly the, the Sir David Attenborough shows of early years got us into wildlife. So we, yeah. that's why, you know, these wildlife shows are so important when your children, we know personally, but when your children growing up to, to sort of infect kids with a love of the natural world and to help protect it. So many of us are urbanized these days. We don't all get a chance to go out into the wilds and to see this stuff. And we wouldn't know it was there unless people were making these shows. So um, I have to say, India is a little bit of an exception to that rule in that you have done the most extraordinary job of protecting your wildlife. Mm. For the most populous country on earth, you, you have, more wildlife than than you have any <laughs> it's extraordinary i mean you know in in england for example we've got nothing left there's, yeah. there's so little left to protect and um for all sorts of reasons you you have and you've done a wonderful job and i think um i mean we see tiger as being um a sort of something that i hope indians are really really proud of because it showcases not just the world's most popular cat or most popular animal i'm sorry i think mm. I think tigers are like the most popular animal in 44 different countries when we looked in almost every single state of the US. They don't choose bears or their own, they, tigers are their favorite animals. So this film, <laughs> absolutely yes. true. So this film is, is not just to sort of celebrate your tiger, but I think what we tried to do is have a little bit of everything from the forests of India. So it's, it actually celebrates the whole forest ecosystem, ecosystem yeah. really. Tigers Vanessa, I want to speak to you a bit about also having uh, getting Priyanka Chopra on board. I mean, I just think that just getting her on board, how I mean, she personally is so attached to the fact that there is so much conversation happening about wildlife conservation, not just in India, but around the world. And obviously, she is a big name in India. Now she's become a global superstar, draws more attention to the project and helps. How did she come on board? How did that happen? Well, we only had one name that we wanted. I mean, right from the start, we were after Priyanka and just hoped that the film would speak to her and that she would want to get behind it. And we were so delighted when she immediately said, absolutely, I love tigers. Um, she does so much ambassador. Uh, she's an ambassadress for the environment. And, um, you know, it's really speak. This film really spoke to her. So when she came on board, we could not have been more excited. And she did such an incredible job. I, I, we feel so anyway. Yes. I think she brought her kind of acting skills. You know, she gives wonderful sort of nuance to the drama and the storytelling. And I think she really got behind Amber's story as a mum. You know, I think she yes. could really identify with it. She's got lovely turns of phrases and she brings a lovely humour and lightness. But also she really connected with the sort of anguish that, that Amber went through. And it was important for us as well to have a voice that, that Indians would want to listen yeah. to because... You know, right. this is it's this film for us is it's, it's important that Indians, you know, love it or than, than anyone else because we really want sort of Indian kids to see it and to be proud of their forests. And um, it's a full co-production, so we've made it with an Indian co-producer. We've worked with lots of Indian yeah. camera team. We've you know collaborated with our friends who are ex tiger experts and guides from India. So it's a lot of reason for Indians to be proud of yeah. this of this show. Yeah. It's a big team. Okay, effort. I have to leave you with one final question. If there's a misconception about a tiger that you had before you made this that was clear during the making, what would it be? I think it might be that um, the big males are scary and all bad. So there's a scene towards the end where where Shankar gives Amber the, a love gift of a sloth bear. Now that doesn't fit the stereotype I had of male tigers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one to keep. And on that note, congratulations for Tiger. Absolutely loved it. And I can't wait for everyone to watch it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.